and welcome once again, J76NY here, playing the historical single battles from the perspective of the Japanese on Killerfish Games' War on the Sea. We are up to battle number 23, Vela La Vela. Uh, game lists it as, while evacuating some 600 troops from Vela La Vela, Japanese warships engage a group of U.S. destroyers. Uh, Vela La Vela was the last battle for three months in the Solomon campaign. Um, after that, things were pretty quiet in the Solomon area. Uh, the next major battle, as you can see, is the Battle of Cape St. George, which was the, uh, the last surface engagement of the Greater Solomon Campaign. In the battle, the U.S. had six destroyers, of which one was sunk and two were heavily damaged. The Japanese had nine destroyers, of which one was sunk, and 20 auxiliary ships. Um, so, if this is accurate to history, we should have the advantage in numbers, which means we may have some success in this battle. But by this point in the Greater Solomon Campaign, the Japanese have been pulling back uh, pretty consistently in terms of the overall war in the Pacific. Uh, the Greater Solomon campaign was wrapping up, and the Japanese were pulling back into uh, further, closer to the home islands. So let's get into today's battle. Okay, so we got shortchanged. Oh well. Okay, break. Turn off fire at will and begin. Okay, do we have any ships with radar here? We do not. Okay. They have crossed our T, which is less than ideal, so let's pause. Take a look at the force we're up against. All right. Oh, looks like there's only three of them. So they shortchange the Americans, too. All right, who do we want to target first? I think I'm going to have the first two target the uh, tailing destroyer here, number three. Uh, the second two destroyers, we're going to have target number two. Uh, let's get the Fletchers out of the way first. And then we can worry about the other one. Fletchers are brutal ships when you're up against them. Let's get them identified. Oh, and you... <sighs> What might you be? I'm thinking you are a porter. Does she have the torpedo in the middle there? Eh, she does. Let's see what we have. That's a porter. Alright, so... First two target the rear Fletcher number three, second two target the, oops, I change that now, stop, target number two, and you target number two as well. Uh, what do we want to do here, add them out. In that general direction. Okay, they are at 7,000 yards, so they are within range. They are shooting. I think we're going to have them uh, kind of hang back a little bit. Let's bump up our speed. See if we can't circle around behind them. There they are out there. Let's 
let's take a look through the binoculars. They got their searchlights on. See what our solution is. Zero percent solution on them. Okay, we'll go with high explosive, narrow spot. fire. Okay, we're going to have you nav out. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Oh well. Nav out this way. Okay, you are getting a solution because of your searchlights. Open up. Okay, everybody open fire. need to switch our fire to the uh, porter in front now. It's probably not a bad idea. Alright, stop targeting the Fletcher. Start targeting the porter. You as well. Open fire. Okay, we are taking damages. This way, you as well. All right, let's see if they uh, continue on their course. Okay, we're taking uh, quite a bit of damage now, being the lead ship, so we are going to take advantage of our torpedoes. We're going to launch everything on a six degree spread. I'm going to do manual fire here. Alright, we are getting hits too, so that's what counts. Okay, we might want to uh, swing back around. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have both these ships turn to port and swing back around. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, these guys are going to pick up speed, start turning in. going to swing them both around. They are taking damages, so let's keep an eye on that. All right, the director is shot, so let's get some of these fires under control. Okay, it's good. It's good as well. We're going to have you Hmm. All right, what are we doing for uh, damages here? That porter is looking pretty rough, so we're going to keep on with her. 
See if we manage to get any hits with the uh, torpedo spread we just fired. It's not looking too likely. Yep, she's turning away, so good for her. All right, this Fletcher is, looks like she's damaged as well. That Porter, yep, good. Okay, looks like we're getting the uh, fires under control. Alright, looks like the porter might be the, trying to run away. Oh, we got some heavy damage here. Alright, damage control parties are working on it. Start having everyone head up in this general direction over here. Maybe take some heat off these two ships with uh, these two that haven't really taken much damage yet. Okay. We're going to have you, you guys stop targeting that Fletcher number two and start targeting number three. Okay. Have you nav up as well. your damage situation. Not doing too bad here. It okay, looks like the two damaged ships are trying to get away. on her 10% it's not the best okay switch our uh, targets to the closest Fletcher and open fire Put everything we have on one ship.
right? She is uh, doing fairly well, keeping her damage under control. Right, now we've got everyone focused on this one Fletcher here, so that porter's burning again. Looks like she is taking damages. binoculars can't really see much right, we are getting hits so it's a good thing and the other two are off in the distance over there can't see them because of the smoke Here's our ships. I'm surprised they haven't launched any uh, torpedoes at us, to be honest with you. I know that. Destroyers tend to ride right over top of torpedoes, so it's kind of pointless using the uh, destroyers as a torpedo launching platform, at least against other destroyers, but we, uh, we do it anyway. At least it disrupts their formation and makes them maneuver. Okay, how's this Fletcher doing? Taking hits, that's a good thing. Okay. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is turn them in slightly like this. and close the distance a little bit. I mean, we're only 6,000 yards out, so we don't really need to do that, but we are going to do it nonetheless. Especially when we've got uh, the advantage of our broadsides up against their aft turrets. I think we are going to have you hold your fire, and we're going to do some manual firing here. Uh, she's moving 28 knots. It's pretty quick, so we will put fire right there. See if she walks into it. spread right there. Okay, I think that was probably the best we're going to get, so we'll go back to uh, regular fire. Let our 
cruise handle this. Okay, how's she doing? She's still trucking along. Alright, Ugumo. Stop targeting the Fletcher. Go back to targeting Porter. And you as well. Alright, we're starting to lose them, so we're going to have to turn in to close the distance. Let's just head south. These two. These two are going to continue on their current course. Let's check our damages. We're actually not doing too bad here. We are getting damages repaired when we take it, so that's a good thing. Looks like they are trying to flee. We're going to have everybody close the distance. Okay. How's this Fletcher doing? Yeah, it looks like our hits are, or our shots are close, but I'm not really sure if we're getting many hits on her, so. Let's see, 2% solution. Maybe that's what I should be doing, launching some star shells. Now we are getting kind of low on the ammo here, at least on our forward tubes, or off turrets. this along a little bit, see if we can uh, pick up that third ship, that number two Fletcher. We are very, very gradually closing the distance. Okay, make sure we're not going to have any collisions. Looking fairly good here. Running gun battle, and we lost that other uh, Fletcher for the time being. So, target. Porter. down to... oh, she's turning. And heading right back for us, okay. Let's 
So we are going to turn everybody this way slightly. She may be getting ready to launch her torpedoes. Nice hit. All right, is she still turning or did she? Straighten out a little bit. Looks like she's straightening out. hits that we're uh, dealing her. She's moving pretty good. That was way off. Wow. our damage doing. Let's go through that real quick. It looks like we uh, probably have just about everything repaired. Yep. That looks like we uh, partook of some evasive maneuvers to avoid a collision. How's the ammo situation? Not good. She's down to 29 knots, so technically we could run her down. everybody in. Unfortunately, I think the other, uh, the two Fletchers were, are probably a lost cause. Okay, we just took a hit there. Nothing major.
Uh, at some point, we're going to run out of ammo in our forward turret, so... Right, she is back up to 31 knots. See if we can get her to maneuver here by going straight at her. I don't want these guys to still head south and look for the uh, those other two Fletchers. She's back up to 34 knots. We are going to match. Time compression. I'd like to get at least one of the uh, enemy ships on the bottom. If her job was to draw us away from the uh, more modern, more valuable Fletcher, she did a pretty good job. Because we are just chasing her down. Any uh, anything here? They're very slowly closing the distance once again. Okay, these guys are just about out of range. Taking any hits. Looks like it's pretty close. Now she's running, that's for sure. There we go, now we got some fires started on her. Let's keep up the pressure. Now we're out of forward ammo here. And here. We are all out of forward ammo. Okay, she's turning. Now we're going to have to fire with our rears. And unfortunately, that means that... I don't want you to do that. Head north. Head north. See how the ammo situation is on these guys. Alright, capable of firing. Yes, you are. This is exciting. She's got her fires out again. Back up to 34 knots. Thinking this may be a bust of an attack. So, let's 
check the damage reports. Uh, moderate, minor, and heavy. So that one Fletcher is actually a little worse off for where, wherever she happened to end up. They probably left the engagement area already. How's our ammo situation down here? Just about out. Okay, damage report. Small fire in the bow. job of evading our fire, that's for sure. What do we have for a solution? <laughs> Next to nothing. Well, we're going to run alongside her and possibly get some hits. Eventually we're going to overtake her. Got plenty of uh, high explosive rounds in the uh, rear turrets. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We are out on the forward turrets on uh, both of these guys as well. And we lost the target. Okay. So, apparently that's the battle. Battle of Vela La Vela turns out to be just a running gun battle with uh, no ship sunk and hardly any damage done. Okay. All right, well, I guess that's the episode. Uh, if you liked it, hit that like button. Um, if you're new here and want to follow along with the very last battle, hit the subscribe button. I've also got some uh, other content, like a full campaign on the American side going. So check that out. I'll link to the uh, full campaign at the end of the video. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and we will see you for the Battle of Cape St. George and the series finale of our historical single battle playthroughs. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.